Joining us now is someone who has taken on and exposed cogs inside the military-industrial complex machine, and machine is the right word for this, historian, investigative journalist, and author of great books like The Secrets of the FBI, Ronald Kessler. Mr. Kessler, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. What were, what were your thoughts on the Fort Liberty hearing that we heard this week? Well, it's certainly shocking, and it's incredible that it went on for seven years. Uh, it's also, I think, uh, amazing that nobody has picked up this story, uh, either on the right or the left, besides you, it seems. Uh, but it's also important to keep in mind it has been stopped. It was at this one fort. It doesn't mean that the military is against us. Uh, and and uh, thankfully, it has been exposed and, and a hearing was held. And uh, let's hope it never happens again. Well, I know you, you are responsibly pointing out to this one fort, but I have seen um, the work product of of um, consultants who are consulting the DHS, consulting FBI and CIA even. Um, you've covered these institutions. And uh, these institutions are also no strangers to identifying pro-life groups as well. They have identified um, people who either you know, align with historical foundings of our nation or if you're pro-life, they deem these people Parents who are protesting uh, radical agendas at their school, these people have been labeled as dangerous in the eyes of these three-letter agencies. What What is going on here? How long has this been going on for? Yeah, this, this was a, a memo from the Attorney General Garland, not from the FBI, uh, and he claims that it was only aimed at actual uh, threats of violence. Uh, in the end, there were six cases that were looked into by the FBI and then referred to local authorities. Uh, and it, it seems that uh, it's not going to happen again because, uh, you know, it has been exposed. Uh, the FBI was, was overreaching uh, in going into these uh, areas. It, it seems these are not um, these are not the right directions. If the, this is indeed some kind of internal policy that we just don't know the extent of, um, that's a scary thought for a lot of people, um, especially when we don't have as 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 solid a trust in, say, the FBI and the DOJ as we did, say, even ten years ago. How do you go about fixing that kind of damage to the relationship between the American public and these ha uh, higher institutions? Well, it, it simply has to be exposed as it was, and, and now uh, this this effort has stopped. Uh, so, you know, I just think it's important to keep all of this in perspective. There are abuses in every organization, including the media, certainly, and uh, it doesn't mean that, that all, of, all of these institutions are bad. And uh, in the case of the FBI, we need the FBI to keep us safe. In fact, it's had a very successful record uh, because in the terrorism uh, sphere, there has not been a successful terrorist attack since 9-11. And that's all because of the FBI rolling out plots before they happen. Uh, we, the FBI needs the trust of the American people in order to to roll up uh, these plots and and uh, and go after uh, kidnappers and and uh, uh, child uh, molesters, et cetera. So again, I, I just uh, think it's important to keep it in mind, but to keep this perspective in mind, but um, it's, it's certainly good to expose the abuses. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard hitting, straight shooting, national and international headlines, and the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.